The next item that you're going to need, but it's not in the list, is an RJ45 Cat6 Ethernet cable. So your computer will need to be connected to the internet or the network by um, some means, and that means is with a Cat Category 6 cable. So on this website here, I just went to Newegg, and you can purchase this pretty much from everywhere. I definitely don't recommend waiting until you get to Manhattan to buy this, because once everybody gets to Manhattan, everybody will need one. So wherever you're living at, you definitely want to purchase one of these. And I recommend getting something between 30 to 50 feet. If you're not sure how long you need, then I would go with the longer length, the 50 footer. I would not exceed 50 feet. 50, anything longer than 50 feet is really excessive. So 50 foot is the worst case scenario that you need. If you find that you get to studio that 50 feet is not adequate, it usually means that someone has taken your ethernet jack that's closest to you and that people in your studio likely need to, you know, jack into the cable that is logically closest to them. So just a little bit of rewiring and rejacking things in to making sure that you don't have to get a cable that's longer than 50 feet. Ethernet cables come in a variety of colors and kind of like, I guess I'm going to call it styles. Um, one thing that you do want to pay attention to is the end of the cable, how that end is um, crimped. So one thing you want to pay attention to is the, the end of the cable. So I'm just going to click on some of these. Some of them have a, let me click on this red one since it seems to show it very well. So this one doesn't have it, but some of them have kind of like a plastic shield that protects this little clip right here. Once This clip is actually very easy to break off. So if once that clip breaks off, that cable is not going to stay securely socketed into the Ethernet port. So you want to make sure that you get something that kind of protects this clip a little bit. I think the trip light ones don't really have that. They assume that you're not going to move your computer around too much, so it's used a lot for servers and things like that. But you can see just through this close-up how that clip on the end doesn't have anything that really protects it. So if you're going to be in studio and people are going to be moving things in and out a lot, I recommend getting a cable that has a little bit of protection on the end so that clip doesn't easily get bro broken off.